Hello everybody, my name is Steve Warnicke, also known as Pure Joy Fingerboards, here on YouTube and over on Instagram. And in today's video, we have another unboxing. But first, I want to shout out this guy from the comments of my last video that said I, I, I toss things too much. Um, yes, I do. So this box is from James Greenwood over at Greenwood Ramps. Uh, thank you so much, James, for this. I'm really excited to get into this and see what's up. Uh, first things first, though, he reached out to me and he wanted to sponsor me. So I guess this is also the announcement video to say I'm now a part, officially a part of the Greenwood Ramps fingerboard team, which I'm very excited about. There's a lot of cool potential there, and I'm excited to see what happens with the team in the future and what happens with the company. If you haven't heard of them, go check them out, but I am going to get into this box and see what's in it. I know I, I saw a picture of it, but I kind of forget because it's been a while because FedEx took a little, a little while to send me this, but uh, I'm just going to rip it open and see what we got in here. No, this is not a box from Nespresso. Uh, I'm not getting coffee. I'm getting fingerboard ramps, and I, I think this is a... Uh, table of some sort, like a picnic table kind of idea, but uh, it'll be new for, for all of us, for you guys watching, for me, Whoosh. nothing in the box. Uh, Alright, let's see what we got here. Alrighty. There's just so much to toss, it's so fun. Yeah, this thing is cool. So here it is, up close and personal. Greenwood Ramps, go to www.greenwoodramps.com. Wooden construction, painted black, got the nice angle iron there for grinding, and grinding is what I'm gonna do on it. Thank you so much, James, for providing the foam grip right on there. Right from the beginning, right from right from the get-go. I know people people like to provide the grip for you to put on. I, it's just just put the grips on for your for your customers, people. Like, come on. Um, very nice. I I like it a lot. It's super super grippy. Um, I'm like I'm pushing hard and actually that's really impressive. Ooh. Yeah, this thing is sweet. It, it, it grips very well. I can tell already it's gonna get super nasty because of it's like it already my, my wheels just mark it up like crazy, which I like. I, I like that aesthetic of something that looks like it's been used because it has. So that's super cool. Oh. So yeah, initial reaction to this is really good. I think it's a pretty cool obstacle. It's it's pretty well built. If anything, if I had anything negative to say about it at all, it feels a little bit rushed, like it could be sanded a little or smoother here or there. The paint could be a little uh, nicer, but that's really the only thing. Uh, it's, a, it's a really cool obstacle. It's It sticks well to the ground, you know, it's nice and low. Uh, the only other thing that might come into that might be an issue is this is just a little unbalanced there or not unbalanced but I guess it's it, like if you're grinding on this and if you push too hard you're gonna you're gonna weight it down I'm gonna actually use it and see if that becomes an issue um, and if it does then I'll, I'll tell you if it doesn't then, then great then it's I think it's a really solid obstacle but yeah, very, very grippy. I like the feel as a manual pad. I have absolutely no issues with it. I'm gonna see if this is an issue here. Um, but yeah, let's cut to some. Let's cut to some footage.
So after a good amount of time of kind of using it, playing around with it, getting to know it a little better, it's a great mani pad. I mean, there is nothing wrong with it. It's nice and solid. It's firm. It's it's never you're never gonna slip out. If you have good wheels, they're they're gonna stick. Um, let's see. These are like the crappiest wheels I have, and they're still they're still sticking pretty good. I think the the concern with the with the tipping when you grind, it's definitely there. Um, if you're if you're heavy-handed like me and you kind of like to slam down your tricks, slam down your grinds, uh, you're definitely gonna tilt the table up. So I'm working on editing this video right now and I, I just wanted to come in real quick at the end and say I went to the Greenwood Ramps website and I saw the table, the same table that I have, and the base on the website is totally different than the base that I received. So I don't know, I, I'm assuming I just got a first edition and they're on to second or third editions at this point, but that being said, go check out Greenwood Ramps. I really like it. I know I had some negative things to say about the table with the tilting, with the with the off balance uh, issue, and I think it still is an issue for the one that I have, but looking at them on the website, there's no chance that the ones on the website will have that same issue that I have. So go check them out. Still a really cool company, really cool guy, really awesome stuff. Check them out. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're light, if you're light fingered, um, you might not have a problem with it. On on half my tricks, on half my grinds, I didn't have a problem with it. You know, it, it, it comes up a little bit, but it's not it's not bad. But if you're really like slamming down, especially tail slides, anything that's kind of sticking out, forcing yourself this way, it's it's gonna tilt for sure, and that is definitely an issue. Uh, so just take that into consideration when you're buying one of them. So my ultimate conclusion on this table, I like it. It is a fun little manual pad, if that's what you're looking for. This is going to be a very blunt review. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna say it's the greatest thing ever just because I got sponsored by the company. So a few things I wanna just say right before I get into my actual final review of this. Number one, the company is great. I've been talking to James, he's a really cool guy. You should support him, you should buy his things, and you should watch him grow. James, I'm so thankful that you, you sent me this to, to review and to shred and to, to represent. I'm happy to represent your company. I think it's awesome. The table could use work, for sure. And I'm, I'm saying that because I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything ever on this channel. I'm gonna be blunt, I'm gonna be honest. I think the table could definitely use some work because, first of all, it's an awesome mani pad. You know, it's, it's solid, it's not going anywhere. It's super grippy, super loud and fun sounding. I love it, it's, it's great if it's used as a mani pad. As soon as you start grinding on this, it tilts like this. So that to me is a, is a pretty big flaw. So there I'm, I'm definitely hitting it with that. If you are light on your fingers and if you can land tricks very light, I think get it for sure. It's, it's great, it won't be an issue. But if you're kind of more like me and you're heavy handed and you like to slam down tricks and grinds and stuff, it, it definitely became an issue, and any any time any time you're you're pointing out this way, any time you're in sort of a tail slide or nose slide or anything, it's gonna tilt. You know, you might you might get away with a 50/50 or a, you know board slide because you got a lot of the. You might get away with it, um, but it it definitely needs work there. I'd say maybe just pop the base out a little bit. Even you, you could even you could even pop the base all the way out too the uh, the edge of the benches and it would still definitely look like a table so that that's definitely something to consider um, overall I think if, if I were to rate this uh, 0 to 10 um, I'd give it a I'd give it about a 6 where it stands right now solid mani pad really fun I'm gonna use it a lot um, grindability of the ledge feature definitely brings it down a little bit so go check out Greenwood Ramps still. They're, they're, like I said, they're an awesome company. I like them a lot. I think he's going to do really cool things and some of his other obstacles are awesome looking. Um, so check out his stuff. So like, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I really wanna grow this YouTube channel to be able to do this as much as I possibly can for you guys. 
If you have any video ideas for me, I've got a lot of fun video ideas coming up in the future, but if you have any video ideas for me, DM me on Instagram or YouTube, whatever, and let me know and I will try to do it. If you're a company looking for reviews and looking to get your product out there and maybe you're just starting out, send it to me. I'll be happy to review it, put it on the channel. Um, I'll even send it back if you need it back, whatever, whatever needs to happen. I would be happy to help you grow your company. And again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.